Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Star Spinner Tarot by Trungles. Uh, website is chroniclebooks.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you want to. Of course, Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Websites are ToriHartman.com, WatkinsPublishing.co.uk, or WatkinsPublishing.com. Okay, what do we have for Virgo? For Go, Go, Go. Go, Go, Go. Is that what's going on? Are you Go, Go, Go? Go, 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 go. I don't know what's going on with the whole song thing, but here we go. <laughs> um, oh, Ace of Cups for you. Ace of Cups for you. Okay, so... How many cards? <laughs> how many cards did I put out? Okay. It just keeps coming. Which is fine. I don't think anything is bad here. Uh, I don't know if I want this bottom card yet. Okay, so... Whatever you're doing, you seem to be quite happy whatever this is. Whatever this situation is, I feel like you're happy with it. So, for some of you it should be work though, at the very least. Some of you it should. You're happy. Um, and you don't feel like you're anywhere near done. So if this is hitting, if it's work, you don't feel like you're done. You don't, you're not looking to go. Uh, or you're not looking to change. Doesn't okay, You're looking, you like where you are. You seem to like, if, if, if it's that. Whatever the situation is, it could be family, friends. Could be something else. Uh, could be property related. Um, happy with it not looking to move on from it, stuff you're doing with it. You're in the process of it, but you're not looking to finish it up anytime soon. But there's a lot of cards here showing happiness. A lot of happiness, the lovers. I for, <laughs> I keep forgetting that this deck has like multiple lovers card cards. I think there's like four of them. So you got two of them. You got one with how you're feeling about it, one with what's going on. You also got the Ace of Cups. You got you're not ready to be done with it. You also got the King of Cups showing up here. But with that showing up, you got the Two of Cups in the past. Like, whatever this is, you seem to be very happy with it. You seem to like it. It's dependable. It does what you're expected to. You feel comfortable. Now, the Fool is starting to show up here. And I'm getting this... King of Cups with it is like, the Fool is showing up with some possibilities. I'm going to go ahead and say that normally when the Fool shows up, Virgo may be entertained by the Fool, but doesn't really pay a lot of attention to that. The Fool is typically a random energy, in my opinion. It's not super thought out. Enthusiastic, does have possibilities, but not really thought out. And I feel like for that reason, Virgo's like, okay, yeah, it's nice, but you don't pay too much. You don't put too much stock into that behavior. Uh, there might be something good there, but, you know, when it shows its value, then I'll get a little bit more into it. But for now... You're cool, but, you know, stay over there, do your thing, and I'll stay over here and do my thing. There's nothing wrong. I don't feel like any negativity there about it. It's just like, that's, you're fine, you do you, and I'll do me, and we'll be good. We'll be cool. Um, it's all good. It's all good. But there's upheaval coming in with this person, which is very interesting. Sometimes when I see the Three of Pentacles in certain decks, it's just very interesting. Something, there's a possibility coming in towards you. And when you see this fool coming forward, what they're saying, I feel, is kind of like, you know what, you're, we're not looking for you to overinvest in what's going on with the fool, but listen a little closer and find out what's going on. Because I feel like this is like a, ch a chance at an opportunity for you. They're just saying, listen a little closer, find out what's going on, just pay attention a little closer, that's all, that's all. Don't need to do anything really with it, but just kind of like engage the conversation more than you normally would. So if you're kind of like, ah, that's enough, and you would usually walk away, they're saying, don't walk away yet. Just 
entertain the thought, find out what's going on. You might be surprised at some information that may not seem valuable at the time, might be very valuable later. Uh, it's that type of energy coming in because like when I get the dissipating, it makes me feel like a fog is lifting or like the, it's like the clouds are starting to part. It's still very misty. Don't really see the point in things right yet, but it's it's about to show itself. Because whatever the fool's bringing forward, you're going to discover something. It is better to know it now. It's better to be more connected now and get the information now rather than later because you're going to discover something from this person. And there's a good energy here. I feel like whoever the fool is, I don't think they bother you. I don't know. I just don't feel like they bother you. So whatever that means. As long as they're not causing you issues with it, you want to get done. I don't feel like they would bother you. Um, they do what they do. That's their thing. But uh, <laughs> they're saying they're going to discover something here. Listen a little closer. Get a little closer to them. Find out a little bit more information. Find out what's really going on with them. You're going to be surprised how you're going to discover something from this because I see the fools leaving. The fool. Le I feel like the fools leaving. This is a card that looks kind of morbid, but it's not bad in my opinion. Um, they're going on to something else, but I don't think, I know it looks morbid, but I don't feel bad. It's like a version of the death card. Um, it's not, like, it does look a little morbid, I know that, but so does the death card usually. Um, it's not bad, it means there's a change. The fool is going to do something. The fool is going to go check something out. They're going to like, I'm getting on that boat, I'm going for a trip. Are you going to be, are you still connected with the fool after they leave? Yeah. I didn't ex Eight of Swords. I don't know. You might have, like, um, connections in common. Or there's a, there's some reason you're still connected. You're still getting information after the fool leaves. Still, there's, there's some. So this could be, in case this is, like, a corporate business or something, um, this might be somebody who's going into a whole other department. And for some reason, you still have connections with this person. You still are going to get information. You probably have people in common. You're going to still keep getting information. Um, it's very interesting because when the fool goes into this new situation, this is going to affect you. Like, there's a reason for this because I'm like, where are we going with it? It's going to make sense. Okay, there we go. There's people in common. Oh, I was just saying that. The three of cups, people in common. Well, you know, right there in front of me. So he's kind of getting it, not realizing it was right in front of my face. Um, the fool's going to struggle with some stuff. But keep in mind, the fool and you, you and this fool person, I don't want to, it's the card. I'm not saying they're a fool, but it's like that energy. Okay, we'll just keep going. They handle things very differently than you do. So something that's difficult for them does not mean it would be difficult for you because you do things with more of a structure. The fool doesn't, I don't think of the fool as having structure. You have structure. So when you put things together and you handle things a certain way and you like divvy it out, like this is how I need to do it, this is when I need to do it, blah, 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 blah. That's different. Like the fool may stumble and trip. It doesn't mean you would. That's the point. But you're going to hear where like they're succeeding, but they're kind of like, they're struggling, but they're succeeding. There's a lot of like questionable things going on here. Why are they, why are they struggling? Um, the High Priestess is that? Yep. Yeah. High Priestess and the Two of Wands shows up. Um, I feel like this is behind the scenes that you, you may not realize, but you might kind of have that inkling that that's probably what's going on. They make random decisions. They do things a little left and right. They don't really put things in order. You know what I mean? It's kind of like making the frosting before you even made the cake. It's kind of like, wait, well, <laughs> all right, so you already made the frosting. You made a chocolate frosting. So, you know, if you're going to make, like, a, a, a lemon cake, I don't know if, well, maybe it would, I don't know. You know what I mean? What are you going to match that frosting to? Now that you made the chocolate frosting, what do you want to match it to? Like, you know what I mean? Like, would you, like, would you put that with a carrot cake? I would think probably not, but maybe. But you know what I'm saying? Like, once you've made that part, like, does that kind of dictate what you're going to do for the other part? They do things out of order. But anyway, because they do things out of order, that makes things a little rough. They're very, they're, there's very much a random energy there, which is kind of why they found this opportunity. T to be fair, like there's a good and bad to that. 
everything has a good and bad to that. You know what I mean? There's a balance. Energy is energy. It's just how we're relating to it, if you follow me. Um, but this situation, if you keep listening, you're going to find out that there's a lot of things there that are, are very good for you. Um, I think somebody else is going to also follow suit with this situation. And I see you getting like an invite in some respect because somebody else also is going to follow this after the fact. And I get the Eight of Pentacles and I feel like you're not expecting them to do that. You're like, wait, wait, what? Like you're, you're, do, you're, going, you're going where the fool went? Like you're going where the fool went? You're getting an invite. You're valued. This could be for you too. This is why they're saying listen more, listen earlier, get a little closer to this situation, find out what's really going on there. This could be beneficial to you. If this is a business thing, I don't know why I'm using this analogy because I don't know. So say you make $30 an hour now or just, just let's say that. You make $30 an hour now. You could be making $35 an hour at this other situation and be happier with, with, a, with work that you more enjoy having more control over. So it's like that's what's out there. Do you have to take it? No. Is it going to ruin your life if you don't? No. But do you want it? That's the whole point. Do you want it? Whatever you're doing, if you could make $5 more an hour and like the job better and feel like you had more structure the way you wanted it to go, is that worth it for you? It's just about you having the possibility and seeing it. That's all. You don't have to take it. It's not going to ruin your life if you don't. But if you can at least see it and then have the ability to choose, that's what's important. Because this other person is going, and I feel like as these people keep going, it's kind of like you do have people in this situation, this other opportunity that you link up with already that makes it a lot better. And so it's like they're going anyway, so do you want to go with them? And being able to get ahead of the situation and have more research ahead of time just makes it easier for you to decide I'm going to yes or I'm going to no and just being at peace with that. Because I do get things are changing. One way or another, things are changing. The Eight of Cups shows up with the King of Pentacles and then the balance. It's kind of like things are changing. Do you want what's coming forward? Do you want it? The balance is up to you. I don't feel like anything's going to be bad. So if you decide, nope, I don't want it, it's not going to ruin your life. If you decide, yes, I do want it, I do th see things getting better for you and being, like, I don't know how much of an improvement you see that as, but like $5 more an hour plus a situation that is more enjoyable to you, how much is that worth? But then again, doing the research and knowing if that's actually there for you is a big thing. I mean, readings are for entertainment purposes only, you know. It's a general read, so you got to research it a little bit. But, you know, I keep getting that's the whole point of this. You having the ability to decide for yourself and seeing it way before it's coming in, like, oh, the fool's doing something? Again, normally you'd be like, all right, the fool's doing what the fool's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead of doing that reaction, going, okay, what's going on, fool? Tell me about this. Really, that's happening. Tell me about that. Okay. And the, engaging in a conversation with that person. I don't like referring to them as the fool. It's just the card that came in. But it's kind of like the energy you're dealing with. It's not bad. I just don't like using that word because I feel like it puts a negative spin on it. It's not negative. But talking with that person more, finding out information, puts you ahead of the game helps you decide when this other, because it's when the second person goes, I feel like that's when it really kind of triggers you. Like, hey, like, hey, <laughs> like, hey, where y'all going? Like, come on. And then it's like, do I want to go too? I don't know. So instead of waiting for the second person to go to go, well, I guess I should research this because they're going. Do I want to go too? If you're way ahead of it, a lot easier for you, a lot smoother. It's not going to guarantee you're going to do it, but at least you'll know if, a lot more securely if you want to or not. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.